the Frankfurt Kitchen. The new Frankfurt was an initiative to bring affordable housing to Frankfurt, Germany. After World War I, Germany was in need of housing for its working class families. The new housing needed to be affordable and were subject to budget constraints. The same designs were used in a lot of the apartments and focused on efficiency rather than comfort. The design of the new Frankfurt was given to Ernest May. May trained under Raymond Unwin, British Garden City planner. May's estates showed Garden City influences with its open spaces. May's developments incorporated many community elements, such as schools and playgrounds, and were compact and semi-independent. May used prefabricated forms in his design to help keep costs down and speed up construction. For the new Frankfurt, Ernest May assembled a team to help with the design and construction of the housing developments. An important key member in his team was Margaret Lotzke. Lotzke was born in Vienna in 1897. In school, she studied under Oscar Strened, an architect who had designed affordable housing for working class citizens in Vienna. Studying under him, she understood the need of connecting design to functionality and the need of this connection in the future. After graduation, she worked with Adolf Loos designing residential estates for World War I veterans. She is better known for her contribution to the new Frankfurt, the Frankfurt Kitchen. Lotzke was put in charge of designing a kitchen for Romerstad, which didn't take up much space and was efficient to the user. The Frankfurt kitchen was the model of fitted kitchens used today. The design of the kitchen was strongly influenced by Taylorism. Taylorism was a theory of management that analyzed and synthesized workflows. During this time, Taylorism was influencing many aspects of life and was major in Germany and Austria. During her design progress, Lotzke conducted interviews and detailed time motion studies to determine how long typical procedures took in the kitchen. She redesigned and optimized workflows and designed her kitchen to follow these workflows. Lotzke also looked at professional cooking spaces for trains and ships as models of efficiency and compact planning. Every aspect of the kitchen was thought out and designed to accommodate the user's needs and to take up as little space as possible. The outcome of all these studies and designs was a double file narrow kitchen which measured around six and a half feet by 11 feet. The narrowness of the design was not only due to the size constraints but the design itself. The closed quarters minimized the number of steps needed to work in the kitchen. The kitchen had one entrance with the window opposite of it and a sliding door on the side. The layout of the kitchen is as follows. Gas stove and cook box. The stove was included in the kitchen. Countertop, pull-out boards, and work surfaces. Counter space is important in any kitchen and the design allowed for ample space. Broom closet, cupboard for pots and pans, aluminum storage bins, and food cupboards. Everything a kitchen would have and need had a designated place in the kitchen. The dish racks and shelves were within reach of the sink and storage bins were incorporated as well. Sink and draining board. Two sinks were placed into the design and were adjacent to the draining board. A fold up ironing board and a stool were also incorporated into the design. The location of the kitchen in the apartment was also a crucial element in the design. The kitchen had two doors which allowed for easy flow from room to room around the apartment. The sliding door to the kitchen allowed for easy access to the dining and living room. The colors and materials used in the kitchen were also thought of during the designing process. The kitchen was painted blue because researchers have found that flies tend to avoid these colored surfaces. Oak was used for containers because it repelled mealworms and beech was used for countertops because it was resistant to staining, acids, and knife marks. The overhead cabinets allowed for storage of dishes and appliances located at arm's length throughout the kitchen. Labeled aluminum pantry drawers were used to store common ingredients used in a kitchen. Because of the tight spaces and layout, the stove had to be included in the kitchens. The stove was a novelty at the time in Germany and Austria. The Frankfurt kitchen was installed into around 10,000 units in Frankfurt. Users had trouble with the kitchens because they weren't accustomed to the layout and workflow set by Lotzke. Many felt that the design of the kitchen wasn't flexible enough for them. Often bins weren't used for what they were meant for and were easily reached by children. 
Also, due to the size of the kitchen, it was only able to be used by one person at a time. Although the design had its flaws, it has become a model for modern kitchens.